Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another Heart to Heart with Tessie. And the title is Our Marriage. I hope you stay tuned to watch this video. From the diary of my grandma, Fanny. May 11th, 1942. Today, Mary and I went to the dentist. I had two teeth filled and Marion had her spare tooth pulled. Hi everyone and welcome to Homestead Tessie and today's Heart to Heart. Every Friday I come to you and share with you intimate looks of my life. And for a year and a half now I've been coming to you and this is a topic I've never really talked about. But there's a reason for it. This week we celebrated our 31 year anniversary. And I thought I would share a little bit with you the background of my marriage. At the age of 17, I met my farm boy. Yes, he was raised and he grew up on a farm. And I was head over heels in love with my Chevy man. And shortly afterwards, we got married. And by the age of 19, I had three children. Yes, I had my first child at 17. The farm life was something I was not used to because I lived in the suburbs. Now my mother and father lived the plain life, but that was way in their early years. They left a lot of the plain ways when they adopted me. Now I was adopted, they were a lot older. Mother still lived a frugal life and still sewed all her clothing, but she never canned or had a garden that I remember of. So I didn't know much about the farm life until I was a married woman. In school, I was least likely the one to be married. I was always just a willy-nilly type of person. I was always high strung. And I was not a very popular, well, I wasn't very popular with the popular kids. I formed my own popularity and that was with the kids that were the outcasts. The kids that had physical disabilities, mental disabilities. I helped a lot of children out when we were, when I was in school. My school integrated the mentally handicapped children with the children that weren't. And so we had some children in our classroom that had Down syndrome and we had some children in our classroom that had a lot of um, physical problems. They integrated them in our Christian school to try to help them. And I really, really enjoyed those friendships. I really didn't care much for the popularity group because they were always very two-faced and they were always extremely in their little own cliques. And they really excluded a lot of the other kids. A lot of my friends also were rebellious. They were people that had a lot of issues in their life. And those were the people that I really encircled and we became really close. My friends to say about me getting married, they all thought, oh no, this is not gonna work and all eyes were on Tessie. So at age 17, I had my first child, and age 18, I had my second, and by age 19, I had my third. And as you all know, my children, I have two girls and a boy, and they're all married. It doesn't seem like 31 years in some ways, and in other ways it does, it seems that long. You know, life is, I've been very blessed to have a very good marriage. I've been very blessed to have a best friend as my spouse. And I have a lot to be thankful for. It wasn't always easy, that is for sure. The first couple years, I was so young and, and Chevy Man was 21, so he was young too and all due standards. So it was a, a little bit of an adjustment. I never held a child before I held my very first. I've never changed a diaper until I changed my very first diaper with my dog. A lot of these things were new to me, but I embraced them. I grew up with my children. My children became my best friends. You know, I didn't have the prom. I didn't have all the socializing that uh, high school kids do, but my children were my friends and are my friends. And so I grew up with them. And my hubby, Chevy Man, was my closest friend. So, I'm going to share with you a little bit of some of the things that really has helped our marriage through the years. And I thought you might really enjoy this video.
Chevy Man's with us. Good morning, friends. And he's going to take Tessie out for breakfast. Bye. And now it's time for breakfast and let the fun times begin. And here's my next favorite store. So I really hope you like this video and through the 31 years I've really been blessed by having my best friend Chevy Man by my side. You know we've been through a lot in life, we've been through a lot of tragic times and we've seen a lot of things happen in our life that God used for good. And here's to another 31 years and it's been a great journey and it's been a ride that I will never forget. People find it hard to believe that I can't remember the last time I had an argument with my husband. People can't believe that you can have a marriage that doesn't fight. And I have that marriage. We are the best friends. We are close in every way. And I thank everyone for watching this video and allowing me to share just another part of my life with you. Take care, everyone, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. You want to try again? Underhand? Right, one more time. Just watch that, watch the nail thing. Yeah. What? One. Oh. one. All right, now it's my dad. First pull up he's ever done in the last 40 years. Wait, what, what, are, you, what are you doing? One, oh, wow. two. My mother, special edition, she's joining in. Wait, don't step on that! It's gonna break! Mom, it's gonna... <laughs> what's, she, what's she doing? What's she doing? <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.
All right. Oh, oh nasty. <laughs> oh, keep going there, sissy. <laughs> All right, Teresa, you gonna you gonna attempt? Wait. Hey, that's is cheating. <laughs> well, that's one way to get up a tree. Let's see if she can get up a tree with the ladder. Back down. <laughs> what are you doing? 